Hi there everybody, Paul Tarrant here, The Marketing Coach. And today we're going to have a look at a piece of software that I use very regularly, actually at the moment daily for the purposes of search engine optimization, both for myself and for my clients. And it's a tool that I've only recently discovered, but I must say I really have become a convert of it recently. Um, this tool and also another tool that I use called Market Samurai, as I say, I do literally use these tools on a daily basis. But today we're going to have a look at SEO Profiler and what it can actually do for you in terms of tracking your rankings on Google, Yahoo and Bing and also providing very actionable steps about how to help you improve your website so that you do rank high in the search engines. So the first thing that we can see over here, um, just my mouse over here, is the website audit. And this is a new feature of SEO Profiler which has only actually been introduced in this last week. And uh, if we click here, you'll see that um, it's actually very similar to the SEO Moz um, site audit tool and probably was actually created because of a lot of feedback um, regards SEO Profiler needing a tool like this to be able to compete with the likes of SEO Moz more, more closely. Um, because I remember actually coming from SEO Moz to SEO Profiler and always thinking to myself, I really do miss the site audit feature. So this is a very great feature that they've just uh, introduced into SEO Profiler in the last week. And as you can see here, we've got the basic sections of errors, warnings, and also notices at the bottom over there you can see. Now this is a brand new feature as I say, so they actually have not audited um, any of my websites apparently that as you can see at the audit report will be available next Monday they say. Now the actual order of importance is naturally errors are the most important that you need to look at first. Things such as your broken links, serve errors, timeout errors, empty titles and duplicate titles. These are the things that you really do need to look at first in terms of um, potential errors on your website. Then the other thing naturally is warnings and then the notices are just things to take notice of. They might not necessarily dramatically affect your search engine rankings but it's just good to be aware of it. So I'm really looking forward to when that data starts coming in um, really actually as a comparison to SEO Moz and just see how um, just to see how good the tool will be. Now as you can see over the top here we have additional options over here which I won't go through because this is just a quick overview video that we're having a look at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the dashboard and we can have a look at the next feature of SEO Profiler. And I think before I go into optimize your pages, which is really one of the key areas that you will be focusing on SEO Profiler, before I go there, maybe just a quick discussion about the Find Keywords. The Find Keywords tool, as compared to Market Samurai, is not as good. I, I find myself not really using the SEO Profiler find keywords tool as much as what I do with Market Samurai. The reason is Market Samurai has very effective filters and competition filters um, that I use that I find to be more accurate and that generate more results for me. However, that being said, I did do the keyword training on SEO Profiler and there are some interesting suggestions that it does come, uh, come up with and some interesting angles that it provides you from a keyword research point of view. So just because I'm saying I don't use it, I would still encourage you, you know, you have a look at it for yourself and see what type of results you get. But still my recommendation would be to use Market Samurai in conjunction with SEO Profiler for your keyword research. The other area where I actually find myself not spending that much time is the social media um, section. So if we just click over here, I'll just quickly show it to you just so you can see basically what SEO Profiler is doing with it. So at the top here it says enter two keywords that are related to your business, Apple and iPhone. So as we can see here, it really is actually just quite a basic um, almost like a social media or online reputation management type tool where you simply type in a keyword and then it will search various blogs, Twitter, Facebook forums and Google Plus um, for mentions of obviously the keywords that you enter over there. So definitely there is some use for it. Um, at the moment I don't find myself using it extensively but um, obviously if some of my clients were requesting more um, online reputation management type services that would be quite a quite a nice little tool to have right within SEO Profiler. The other areas is submit your website. Um, this particular tool you should only really use once, you know, if your website is new 
or if you're just coming onto SEO Profiler for the first time, there will probably be some additional uh, websites and search engines that um, SEO Profiler can submit your website to. But like I say, once you've done it once, um, you generally won't be clicking to this area again. Now, one of the major reason, reasons that we use search engine optimization um, marketing software, SEO marketing software, is really to check our rankings. And you can see that over here. So if we click the check your rankings, it's really quite intuitive and I won't go into too much detail about it, but it gives you a very good overview of how you are doing on Google, Yahoo and Bing. And um, you can also, if we click over here onto the all keywords tab, you'll see a representation of all the keywords that you have put in and how your particular website is doing in the various search engines etc. This, this being a new website it's just getting started but it gives you a very good um, very good representation and will naturally be one of the key areas that you'll be visiting in SEO Profiler just to see that you know the work that you're actually doing whether it's actually paying off or not. Now the other very important area of SEO Profiler is this this little button over here which is optimize your pages. Now if you've read my review of SEO Profiler, my blog post, you would have noticed that I mentioned that SEO Profiler is the only search engine optimization software that actually guarantees a first, not first place, but that you'll get onto the first page of Google. And um, normally when you hear stuff like that, when you hear a claim like that, you, you've got to be a little bit careful because it can be a little bit suspect. But the way SEO Profiler does it is actually very, very clever because they give you a percentage score. And I'll just click on here and we can just, just as it's loading, we can talk more about it. And basically what it does is it takes the keyword that you put into SEO Profiler and it analyzes the current top 10 pages in Google to see what are they doing to be able to get those rankings from a backlinking point of view, from a keyword point of view, from a content point of view, from a social media point of view. And then what it does is it takes your website in comparison with the top 10 results on Google and gives it a percentage. And what they say is if you're able to achieve a ranking of 95% on their system as compared to the top 10 results, that over a period of time however long that time may be, whether it be one, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it may be, that over time, if you have a score of about 95%, that you should definitely get onto the first page of Google. Now, this is actually quite an intelligent, it's actually a very clever way of looking at it because basically it means that your website, your ranking is always being compared to the current results that Google is currently ranking. So, you know, there's no guessing about, you know, what has Google changed the algorithm or what is Google doing now. SEO profile is looking at the top results, seeing what they're doing and then giving you a report on how you can improve your website. So, for example, you know, if we type in a, a website such as seomoz.org and let's say we want to have a look at the keyword SEO software for example because that's what SEO yeah. Moz is known for is the SEO software. So we enter those details in over there. We choose the search engine. We can choose Google United Kingdom or a variety of other ones. Um, I'll stick to Google United Kingdom and then over here you can see this button over here which says get high ranking pages. I'm just going to click it over there. It says please wait while we're getting the high ranking pages. SEO profiler goes behind the thing. We can see over here, there's three top results. And what we're going to do now is we're going to click create top 10 optimizer report. Now this really is the bread and butter of SEO profiler. This is what you are paying the subscription fee, which is only, you know, starts from 19 US dollars per month. So this is the main thing that you are paying for in terms of this piece of software giving you recommendations of how you can improve, improve your website. Um, taking a bit of time there, calculating suggestions, preparing a report. 
and then what we are presented with is a score. As we can see here in terms of SEO Moz, them being obviously quite a high authority website of a lot of backlinks, etc., we can see a score of 92.6%. So even as good as SEO Moz are, there is room for improvement to get a rail mark that SEO Profiler talks about of 95%. And my guess would be that the reason this is not S95% is because that particular keyword that I typed in might not be the key strategic keyword that SEO Moz is, is targeting at this moment in time. But let's just have a quick look here. 92.6%, it gives us a table of contents based on analyzed pages, based on link building. We can see number of things here and and this is a very interesting thing here we can see the to-do list so SEO profiler has looked at the backlinks of the competitors it's looked at things such as page optimization keywords used in the body text etc and, and it's telling us here two things to do keyword use in the page title one thing to do and you see this confirms my suspicion that you know this is probably not a keyword that SEO Moz is totally focusing on from the home page for example we have things such as um, optimization, social optimization, search engine compatibility, and then if we click, if we continue going down, it gives more details. Uh, let me just quickly scroll up here. So, for example, page optimization. SEO Moz is obviously a high authority website, so a lot of the link building things here you'll see, you know, they've totally got that down pat because you know there's, there's the uh, the tick marks over there so SEO profile is not recommending that they do anything actively there but one area that it did talk about was page optimization so if we click keyword use in the body text we now go to that specific section of the report that SEO profile is talking that can be improved so there it gives your body text And it's basically recommending that the keyword SEO software be included in the body text because as we can see here, they actually haven't specifically been going for SEO software. SEO software is not actively mentioned in all this text over there. So this is what SEO Profiler is doing. It's looking at the whole website. It's looking at the full spectrum, including social media, which as we know after Google Panda and Google Penguin is becoming more and more important. So in many ways, I feel that this SEO Profiler optimization tool is possibly the most complete SEO software tool available on the market now, especially because of the addition of the site audit tool, which was in my mind, the only thing that was missing from SEO Profiler versus SEO Moz. And in many ways, SEO Profiler has gone quite a few steps ahead of SEO Moz in terms of the, the recommendations, in terms of the tools that they are to really help in your search engine uh, progress and the search engine optimization um, research, etc. So that's that. Um, I just wanted to have a quick overview. I don't want this to be a, a half an hour or one one hour type uh, video. I just want this to be quick, very actionable. What I've shown you is typically the main areas of SEO Profiler that I will will look at on a daily basis for my clients. Um, obviously, things such as checking the keyword rankings, looking at the top ten optimization op optimizer report. And also, just actually, I'm just thinking here, just before I forget, the other area that you're definitely going to be wanting to work on is the Get Backlinks tool. And uh, we'll just have a quick look here. The Get Backlinks tool. Again, this is why I say, you know, they really have gone many steps ahead of a lot of the competition in terms of how they organize the, the ability to find links. And a great place to start if you are very new to building links is the starter backlink section and basically what it does is it separates a number of different websites based on for example categories over here such as website directories it's just you know it's just taking a little bit of time here to load Basically what it does is it's got categories over there of website directories, blogs, forums, and that it has 520.
29 starter backlinks. Seems like Google Chrome is just wanting to, to play up over here, but site directories, ebook directories, content sites, award sites, article directories, affiliate program directories, slide and presentation sites, etc. And all these areas are places where you can submit your URL and your backlink to your website so that you can start building the backlinks to your website. I'm not going to go into all the other areas, but as you can see here, there are many other ways that SEO Profiler does help you to, to find backlinks. But as I say, if you're just starting out of your search engine optimization, definitely have a look at the starter backlinks. And another one to have a look at is the weekly opportunities report, which basically looks at your competitors and what they are doing in terms of building links and it presents you a report on a weekly basis saying have a look at this competitor one competitor two competitor three this is what they've done in the last week you might want to do the same you might want to go to the same website you might want to put a link back to your website so in terms of the the intelligence that you are getting from a competition point of view and you know what your competitors are up to etc this is a very very powerful tool so definitely have a look at starter backlinks have a look at the weekly opportunities report and my suggestion would be to do the SEO profiler training that you get when you sign up which will go into detail into all these other areas here because really at the end of the day link building is still a primary activity of search engine optimization I know that there's a lot of focus now on social media and stuff like that but still at the end of the day you have to be building backlinks back to your website to get those rankings that's it for today guys just a, a quick look at SEO profiler I hope this really helps you in terms of uh, making a decision about whether SEO profiler is for you or not I definitely would recommend it for you and uh, click the link in this blog post because um, from what I remember and well, definitely from what is happening right now I'm not sure what it will be when you're viewing this video but definitely right now SEO profiler is offering a one dollar free trial which you know really makes us a no-brainer to to give this a test for the first month so there you have it guys I hope you have much success using these type of tools and um, definitely keep keep looking on, on the blog because I will be posting more of